Today I'm gonna to take you through a 30 minute quick kind of boost yourself post baby workout. This is an all over strengthening. I wanna make sure we get everything from upper body to lower body, our chest, our biceps, our triceps, our glutes, our quads, everything. So make sure you have a towel, a bottle of water. If you know you're on the tighter side, maybe a couple blocks, but other than that, this will be a very easy, you can do it on the floor, you can do it on the carpet, you can do it on your yoga mat, but we're gonna do a quick little 30 minute strengthening exercise. Let's go. So, I want you all to start off on all fours. We're gonna kind of lubricate the body, warm up before we dive in. So let's find ourselves on all fours, hands and knees, and beginning to move into our cat cow. As you inhale, lift up an arch. As you exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Keep going at your own pace, stretching the throat, stretching the back. Taking a couple more. I want to make sure that our spine is really nice and flexible. And we've got some space to make some movement happen. So on this next exhale, go ahead and return to a neutral spine and begin to walk your knees back. So I'll keep adding on and giving you ladies some things to kind of make it harder. I wanna make sure that you can do this video many times and keep adding on. So right now we're in a supported plank position. For many of us, this is great. Work on drawing navel to spine, tailbone down, and really feeling those obliques move in. I want you to find that balance between the right and the left hand. For some of you, you might be able to already take it a step further, tuck your toes, lift the knees, and come into a plank position. There's no right or wrong way, it's just meeting yourself where you're at in this moment, but holding it here, taking three more rounds of breath, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, really firm up those arms, press the ground away, inhale for two. Draw the navel to your spine, tighten it here, and on your next exhale, bend those elbows coming all the way down onto the belly. Inhale, lift the chest, baby cobra. Let's begin to feel the lower back strengthen here. All 10 toenails pressing down. Take a full inhale through the nose. Exhale, press it back, child's pose. So if at any point in your practice today, you need to take a break, you need to pause, child's pose is going to be your resting position. You can take that at any time. Come back up all fours, hands and knees. Find that plank position on the knees or you can find your regular plank. Thighs lifted, knees lifted. But we're gonna begin to activate the triceps here. So spread the fingers nice and wide, navel drawing to spine. We're gonna go ahead and take 10 mini push-ups. So as you exhale, bend those elbows straight back. As you inhale, rise up, that's one. Exhaling down for two, coming up. Three, keep the back of the head lifted. Good, four, five, six, seven, linking movement to breath, eight. I know it's hard, stay with me. Last one, inhale, come back up. Exhale, press it back, child's pose. Take a couple of recovery breaths here. We're gonna keep adding on each time. Take one more breath in, and as you exhale, meet me back on all fours, hands and knees. So, I want you to find a tuck of the toes. This is probably gonna be a nice bridge between your planks. And then we're just gonna hover the knees a couple inches off the ground and really start to feel lower core strength in here. A lot of times we have an arch in the back. I really want you to draw that navel in and up, shoulders over wrists, taking two more breaths. Exhaling for one, take one more deep inhale through the nose. Begin to notice that heat your body is generating and then come all the way back down. So aligning those wrists directly underneath the shoulders. We're gonna step back with that left leg. Navel draws in and up. We've got that low core awareness and then we're gonna hover the left leg over the mat. 
So here we're working on strengthening the entire back body. So this is called spinal balancing. I want you, if you feel good and ready to reach that right arm forward here. We're gonna try and go into opposing directions with right fingertips stretching forward, left leg reaching back. See if you can tighten everything towards the midline, navel moving towards the spine, getting nice and long. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and start to take knee and elbow to tap. Inhale, lengthen back. So now challenging that balance, challenging that strength. Exhale and round. Two more times, inhale, lengthen. Exhale and round. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale and round. Keep that knee at the center of the chest. Just bring that right palm down. So we're gonna take a couple hip circles here because I've got a nice little hip strengthening workout coming up for you. So we'll just kind of keep flowing, moving from body part to body part. Go ahead and reverse opposite direction. Knee moving towards the tricep, opening up and around. Making sure that we're still really strong in the upper body. And then the next time that your knee comes open and out to the side, I want you to leave it here. So I'll kind of do a little different pose for you so you can see. We're just gonna start to do our little leg kicks up to the side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold it. Step that foot on the outside edge of the left hand and pause here. We're gonna keep that right palm planted. Inhale, left arm up. Take a little twist. Give yourself a moment to kind of open up and breathe here. I know you're probably feeling your heart rate increase. Just hold it. Staying connected to your breath. We've got one more inhale through the nose. As you exhale, bring that left palm down, framing your front foot. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Lunge crescent. So, once again, I'm gonna give you all options. You can stay right here, just grounding down into the left foot. If you want a little challenge and want a little quad strengthening, you can just hover that right knee off the ground. It's gonna activate the glutes, really fire up both quads here. So either way, wherever you are, we've got three breaths. Inhaling, reaching and extending towards the fingertips. Find that lift in the side of the body. Find that reach. One more deep breath in. Exhale, frame the front foot. Lifting the back leg, step back into your plank pose. So if you need to modify, you can definitely come down onto the knees, but we're gonna take a breath here. Exhale, come all the way down to the belly. Inhale, cobra pose, lift the chest. Exhale, child's pose, take a break. We've got one side down, another side to go. Just pause here, two to three breaths if you need some water. Take a sip of water if you need to towel off, towel off. And when you are ready, go ahead and come back, meeting me on all fours, hands and knees. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it on the right side, step right leg back, and we'll find that core awareness again. So navel drawing in and up, low belly really activated, and then we'll lift the right leg up, reach back through the heel, and then when you're ready, if you lifted the opposite arm the last time, go ahead and extend that left arm forward. Finding spinal balance, we're really working on strengthening the entire backside of the body. So spreading the fingers at that left hand, left thumb moving up, maybe even kick up that right heel a little bit and get even longer. Stay for two more breaths. You may wobble, you may move, that is absolutely normal. Stay one more breath in. Stay for the exhale and from here we're gonna bring elbow and knee to tap. Inhale, reach and extend. Exhale, elbow and knee to tap. Inhale, extend, exhale and tap. One more time, inhale, reach. 
exhale and tap. Hold it right here. Take that left palm down and we're going to bring that knee up towards the right elbow. Circle it all the way back and down. I'm going to give you a different profile here. And just moving and lubricating that right hip when you're ready. Go ahead and move in the opposite direction. So knee moving up, down and back, up, down and back. Good, and when you're ready, the next time that that leg lifts, go ahead and hold it right there and we'll take our little leg lifts out and straight to the side for eight, seven, six, five, four, a little bit higher, for two, and one. Go ahead and step that foot all the way up. Your left palm is down, that right arm lifts up. Find your side body stretch. Find this big twist here as you breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Good, see if you can spread your wings a little bit wider, reaching through those right fingertips on that next exhale. Bring the fingertips down from your front foot. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Finding your lunge crescent here, bending deeply into that right knee. Once again, you ladies have options. You can stay with that bent knee in the back or you can hover the back knee. Tucking the toes and coming into your full lunge crescent. It is up to you, whatever you would like to do. Wherever you are, we are staying for three breaths. So inhale, reaching through fingertips. Exhale, thumbs moving back. Inhaling for two, exhaling back. One more deep breath in. Exhale, fingertips frame the front foot. Let's go ahead and pick up that back leg, step into plank. So pausing for a moment here, spread the fingers nice and wide. We'll take five little push-ups. Elbow straight back and then lift. And two, three, four, and five, shift forward onto the toes, lower down knees, chest and chin, inhale, come up, cobra pose. Exhale into your child's pose. We'll take a few recovery breaths here before we go onto our side. So staying here, just three breaths. Once again, if you need a water break or a towel break, now is your time. And then when you're ready, we're going to go ahead and come up. I want you to lay on your side. So I'm going to start by laying on left side. Both knees are bent and just working still full body. So I want you to notice I've got a couple different options I can be on this left forearm. I can sink in and collapse my upper back or I can press down into the forearm, down into the elbow, and create this nice spaciousness around my shoulder and my ear. So pressing down when you're ready, inhale. Just hover that right leg up. This is gonna be our starting position. Both knees are bent, right fingertips can come in front, and we're just gonna do these little, little pulses straight up. So generally, it's nice if you are focusing on your breath. You can even do this while reading a book if you want, whatever works for you. But I want you to stay connected to the hip, to the glute. It will start to burn. We'll kind of do this little series here in a moment. But paying attention to full bodies. So yoga and strengthening really is a full body practice. I've got awareness of the left body as well as the right a front body as well as the back body. And just staying here, going to find knee and heel dips here. So knees come together, heel lifts, and then heels come together, knee lifts. So going back and forth for 10, nine, eight, seven, and it's okay if this is your first time and you're newer to this. Keep moving, I know it's burning. Five, four, you're doing great. Three, two more, and one. Keep those heels touching. Take a break here because we're gonna work with a little external leg rotation. 
When you're ready, you're going to extend that right leg straight and you're just going to lower down and lift for 10, 9, 8, moving into side plank in 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo, you made it. Both knees stack on top of each other. When you're ready, inhale, lift your hips. So once again, gonna give you ladies variations. You can stay here for five breaths, or if you're feeling like you can extend both legs straight, come into full side plank. Either one works. And we've got about three more rounds of breath. If you need a little bit of help, another variation is to step that right foot in front. Two more rounds of breath. And on your next exhale, you're going to find those hips down, come all the way up. So we'll just take a mid stretch here, crossing your right knee over your left and just taking a little forward fold. It's nice to kind of give the body a break from all of the strengthening just, just with one stretch. Taking one more breath in and then we'll switch sides. Make your way up. Both knees bend, coming down onto your right side. So once again, we've got that lower body awareness. We're still pressing down into the right forearm, creating space between the right shoulder and right ear. Stacking our knees right on top of each other. Let's go ahead and hover that left leg. I always like to keep a little awareness in the feet and the toes. So if you can, do a little dorsiflexion of the left foot and then we'll just start to pulse. Checking in full body, just make sure we've got that core engaged, pressing away. Doing great, we've got about five more. Three, good, we'll bring knee to knee and heel to heel. Coming for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, moving four, three, two, and one. Good. Keep the heels touching. Extend left leg out, lower down, and lift for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost there, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Go ahead and bring the knees stacked right on top of each other. We've got side plank now. Remember, you can stay on the forearm, lifting both heels up, or if you're feeling ready, you can extend both legs straight, arms reaching. Keep that navel drawing to the spine, side body really tight. We're working with the obliques here. So really lifting hips. Some of you may even want to take that top arm, extend and reach it over wherever you are. Hold one more breath and come all the way up. We're gonna go ahead and cross now. Left knee on top of right. Right leg is extended straight out. And just pausing for that simple little stretch, that little forward fold. Two more rounds of breath. Last one. Great, make your way all the way back up. We're gonna go ahead and bend both knees. Feet are about hip distance apart and I'm gonna go ahead and give you a side profile right now. So a lot of the back body strengthening comes from back bends, bridges, bow poses, things like that. I'm gonna kind of give you the inverse of our all fours. So hands back by your side, feet hip distance like I showed you, and we're gonna press down to the big toe mounds, lifting the hips high. You should feel a little activation of the glutes, activation of the hamstrings. Option here would be to let the back of the head fall back, 
or if you want to work on strengthening the neck, strengthening the cervical spine, you keep reaching out through the crown of the head. Staying for two more breaths, trying to open up along the shoulders, broadening across the collarbone and on that next exhale, bring the hips down, make your way all the way down onto your back nice and slow. From here, give yourself a moment to recover, to reconnect with yourself. So we will begin to find our bridge pose here. But first, working with a supine cat cow as you inhale, arch. Exhale, navel to spine, inhaling and arching. Exhaling, navel to spine, three more. Feel the abdominal wall stretch. And then feel the muscles come together one more time. Exhale, navel to spine. Walk the heels back so that your fingertips can graze the back of the heels. And we'll rise up for a bridge pose. So finding that little lift here, we're going to take little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, hold it. Five breaths here, really activating that hamstring attachment, that place where the hamstrings end and the glutes begin. You can find a little bit higher lift for the last two breaths. On that next exhale, slowly roll it all the way down one vertebrae at a time, just finding this little gentle rock right to left. We're going to do a little variation one more time of a bridge pose. So coming back to neutral, hands down by your side. We'll take it a little bit further this time. Heel toe the feet together. Big toe mounds are touching. Knees are together. As you inhale, come into your bridge pose. Walking the feet forward ever so slightly. Activating a different part of the hamstrings. We'll hold it here. Three breaths. Feeling that low belly stretch. See if you can press down to rise up a little bit more. Drawing the knees together, they naturally will want to splay open. And on that next exhale, rolling all the way down one vertebrae at a time. Give yourself a moment to recover here. There wouldn't be a complete strengthening practice without a core practice. So this is where I like to incorporate the blocks. So there's a couple different ways of doing this. For today, I'm gonna do the block on the medium level and place it right in between my thighs. And then working on really finding that squeeze here. So we'll go ahead and interlace the hands behind the back of the head. Elbows open nice and wide. So just begin first here by squeezing the block as tightly as you can. You might even be able to engage your abdominal floor. And when you're ready, take a deep inhale, arch the back. As you exhale, navel to spine. Keep that core engagement and come up into a little crunch position. So gaze is looking straight up at the ceiling. Elbows are wide and just taking little pulses here. Back body is nice and engaged. Front body moving towards contraction. Really activating inner thighs here, keeping a nice form. Trying to keep the neck out of it. We're just working the abdominal wall here. Making sure the breath is steady, really lifting, finding those crunches. You're doing great. Hang in there. We've got about 10 more seconds to go. On your next exhale, roll it all the way down. Take the block out from in between the legs and just kind of shimmy the knees right to left. Stretching it out. Good, we're gonna go ahead and do our second set. So find your block, place it in between the thighs. Interlace the hands behind the back of the head. Elbows wide, inhale, arch. Exhale, press everything down to the ground. 
Coming up into that crunch position, I want you to go ahead and take that right elbow, reach it towards your left knee and little pulses here. Right shoulder blade lifting off of the mat. We've got it for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, squeezing the block, and one. Come back to center. Take a recovery breath, 15 on the other side. Left elbow, right knee. Good, finding that pulse. And we've got it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way back down. This time you're gonna hug both knees into the chest. Find a little gentle rock right to left, side to side. This time we're gonna close out with one more core exercise. I want you to take your block on the thinnest level and we're gonna extend the legs straight up. So placing that block directly in between the thighs, draw the toes down towards your face. We're gonna reach up and trying to pulse, touching the toes. If that is too much, you can take the hands behind the back of the head and keep those little pulses. This is a lot of work on the front body and in the legs, holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend both knees, remove the block, Find that gentle rock side to side. Ooh, good job, ladies. I want you to just find both feet flat onto the mat. Taking the hands to the low belly, maybe even one hand to the low belly, one palm to the chest. And just noticing your breath, noticing your heart rate. allowing everything to just slow down for a moment. Allowing the body temperature to cool. And just notice what feels a little wobbly, what feels a little shaky. Just noticing that inner strength that you have. And when you're ready, go ahead and hug the knees back into the chest. Either rock and roll yourself forward and back or just roll to one side and bring yourself all the way up back to a seat. So that is just shy of your 30 minute strength training today.